Hey guys, James from the Research Revolution. I got a crazy story. All right, this is Robert Wagner on the left and his wife, Natalie Wood. And this is sometime in the 80s. They're both mega superstars back then. I mean, big time superstars. And basically, uh, they were on this boat with also uh, the uh, captain and Christopher Walken. And there might have been another person. But what's crazy is this boat is pretty small. So I'm going to get into the whole story because there's a lot of stuff. Um, I got two articles. One's really small. And I'm also going to show you pictures. Okay, here we go. Sly and secretive Robert Wagner must be indicted for murdering his superstar wife, Natalie Wood, homicide investigators say. Damning new forensic evidence and chilling photos implicating the actor in the West Side Story's Beauty's 1981 death off California's Catalina Island have finally surfaced, says a source close to the cold case probe. Now a Los Angeles County grand jury will be asked to examine the strong case file against the 87-year-old actor who had a vicious booze-filled fight with Natalie just hours before her death. Investigators claim marks found on her body prove she was choked into unconsciousness and rolled off her yacht, Splendor, wrapped in a heavy down coat so she drowned. Sources close to the case also believe a secret witness is ready to step forward and doom Wagner for good. I think uh, that's Christopher Walken. Um, adds the investigator, once this goes to grand jury, he's sunk and will finally pay for what he did. Justice has been perverted from the very beginning. Now, this is the boat right here, the Splendor. And this is what they were on that night in, um, just off the coast of Catalina right there. Um, L.A. coroner Dr. Thomas Nagashi originally ruled Natalie's death an accident. He believed she had fallen into the sea while trying to get into a dinghy and drowned. So apparently that's what he said. They got into a fight and she got into a dinghy and then just drowned. But the guy didn't even turn on the searchlights. He he, he refused to turn on searchlights and, and look for her. Anyway, uh, but Nagoshi was wrong. Based on chilling new testimony and evidence, Lawman reopened the death probe in 2001. The coroner's office changed the cause of Natalie's death to undetermined Bruises on her body could not have been caused by floating into rocks near the shore where she was found. Splendor's skipper, Dennis Davern, says Wagner had a violent and drunken fight with Natalie in his stateroom and that the quarrel continued on the rear deck near the dinghy. Rag Wagner was jealous over Natalie's relationship with her hunky brainstorm co-star Christopher Walken who was also on the yacht that fatal night. The Cold Case Investigative Research Institute, which took on the case last year, is providing the L.A. sheriffs even more uh, forensic proof that Natalie was murdered. Um, their boss, Cheryl McCollum, told The Globe the group has consulted experts in body language, underwater crime scene, domestic violence, statement analysis, and criminal profiling. To crack the case. They also conclude that Natalie's bruises are not consistent with trying to climb into a dinghy. Meanwhile, Davern, who passed a polygraph test, says he saw Natalie only in her nightgown that night. She never returned to her cabin after the fight, yet her body was found in a down coat. The, uh, the investigators believe Wagner put the coat on Natalie to make it appear she'd left the yacht. Also, two witnesses moored nearby have come forward to corroborate Davern's account of arguing and fighting aboard Splendor's rear deck. The investigators say Wagner's four-hour delay in calling for help and refusal to turn on the vessel's searchlights is very troubling. You think your wife just goes into the ocean and you, you're like, no, we're not going to turn on the searchlights. Let, let her drown. Come on, man. Wagner insists he had nothing to do with Natalie's death, but Lieutenant John Corina, head of the Sheriff's Homicide Bureau, says the heart-to-heart -heart hunk is refusing to cooperate with the investigation. But a voice stress analysis of Wagner's denial, conducted by Florida expert Michael Cervestery, indicates he was lying. 
Arthur uh, Ruley, an author who has probed the case, says it's clear to those investigating Natalie's death that she went kicking and screaming, fighting for her life. And a grand jury will finally expose the awful truth. Now, um, that's them back then. And he blatantly got into a, uh, you know, a booze filled, probably drug filled rage and killed her. Now I'm going to read just some, some stuff about Christopher Walken. Because it says he has betrayed Robert Wagner inside his interview with cops. Actor reveals new details of Natalie Wood's death that night. Christopher Walken is finally telling what he knows about the death of Natalie Wood. And sources say Robert Wagner could soon be facing a jury. The law enforcement insider told Radar Online that the 72-year-old Oscar winner met with detectives after the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department reopened the case in 2011. According to Source, Walken told them Wagner, 86, flew into a jealous rage the night of November 28, 1981, the day the 43-year-old Wood disappeared from the 60-foot yacht Splendor. Now, Walken, who was starring in Brainstorm with Wood at the time of her death, told cops she and Wagner fought before her mysterious disappearance, according to the spy. The ruckus began when Wagner accused Wood and Walken of an affair. Walken said he left the cabin after Wagner smashed a bottle of wine on the table. He was sticking to his same story he gave the first time he was questioned. Um, I was asleep. I went to my room and went to sleep. That's pretty much what he says. Okay, and then it says, uh, Wood's lifeless body was found floating a mile from the Splendor near Catalina Island on November 29th. Authorities initially ruled the tragedy an accident, but in 2013, the coroner changed the cause of death from accidental drowning to drowning and other undetermined factors. Now, Dennis Davern, the Splendor's captain, also claimed Wood and Wagner argued the night before Wood died. Wood left the boat after the spat and stayed in Catalina, a Catalina Hotel on November 27th. That was the, um, that was the uh, captain. Dennis Davern is the captain, and as he says, the Splendor's captain also claimed Wood and Wagner argued the night before Wood died. Wood left the boat after the spat. Wood, it says Wood left the boat after the spat and stayed in a Catalina hotel on November 27th, says Davern, but returned to the Splendor the next day. Later that evening, Wood and Wagner engaged in an alcohol-fueled argument during which Wagner exploded, he said. Davern also claimed Wagner smashed a bottle of wine on the table in front of Walken's face and shouted, what are you trying to do? Seduce my wife? Wood went to her cabin in disgust, and when Wagner later went down to check on her, she was gone, Davern said. He added that 15 minutes after the arguing stopped, he found Wagner, Wagner sweaty, flushed, anxious, nervous, and disheveled. Whoa! So 15 minutes after their fight, he went to the cabin, and then... About 15 minutes later, he uh, he saw Wagner after the arguing stopped because he was in his cabin and they were still arguing. So about 15 minutes so or later, uh, once they stopped, he found Wagner sweaty, flushed, anxious, nervous, and disheveled. Others have testified that Wood wasn't the object of Walken's flirtations, but rather Wagner and the Wood disappeared at... But rather, Wagner, wait, hold on. Others have testified that Wood, Natalie Wood, wasn't the object of Walken's flirtations, but rather Wagner. And that Wood disappeared after catching them in the sack together. Wait a minute. Wood disappeared after catching them in the sack together? Wait, I didn't even get that the first time I read that. Is that, is that saying that Christopher Walken's gay? Others have testified that Wood wasn't the object of Walken's flirtations, but rather Wagner, and that Wood disappeared after catching them in the sack. Uh, I don't, I, hey, I don't know, I don't know what the hell that. I don't even like that that sentence, to be honest with you. But a law enforcement insider says Walken adamantly refuted the claim 
when asked about the Wagner Trist. In fact, it was the complete opposite, the insider alleged. We found they didn't actually care for one another. They're talking about um, they're talking about uh, Christopher Walken and Natalie Wood. That this is just so crazy. Anyway, I thought you guys um, would want to hear that. This has been James from the Research Revolution. I'm out of here.